I cannot believe I am about to make this video. You know, until very recently, it had been quite, quite a while since I had touched Next.js. I think the last time I did anything serious with it was August-ish of last year. But I think that was right around the time that the new app directory stuff was happening. There were a bunch of bugs. It was a little unstable. They were having some issues and I just kept hearing over and over and over again. Next.js sucks. The Vercel team is killing the framework. It's a pain to use. It's terrible. Whatever, whatever. I mean, you've, I'm sure you've seen it all before. You can go into my comments section and like, I love you guys, but like, come on. Every time I talk about Svelte or I mention Next.js without fail, there's a lot of, oh yeah, Next.js bad takes, which like, you know, I get that there are some issues and I honestly kind of was in that boat for a while. I started doing Svelkit stuff around that time last year, very quickly fell in love with the framework. I just love building with it. It's fun. I want to do it. It just excites me. And that's honestly something I kind of optimize for these days is what's actually exciting to build with. And I loved it. I really kind of took it and I didn't plan on looking back. And really the reason I got back into Next.js in general was because of Vercel's brand new AI SDK. And what I did is I went through and I built out this nice little example application with Next.js. I honestly didn't have that much ambition for this. I kind of figured, oh yeah, we'll screw around with this for a little while, make some really basic stuff out of it, maybe make a video here and there, and then I'll be done. But it went a lot further than that. I kind of made this into a pretty fleshed out thing. And honestly, I might turn this into a real app because you know, all my friends and I are gym rats and I'm like, you know, I would actually use this. It's really cool. Like if you look at this, let's just go ahead and type in bench 225 times five times five. We're going to go ahead and enter in that. And then the AI SDK and the AI I put in here is smart enough to translate that into a table here. I can hit save. I can show my current workout info and you can see it's all actually being saved in here. It's a real weights tracker using real components, which I built. The Vercel AI SDK is dope and I'll have a video linked right here where you can check out how I built this and what I did there. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is Next.js. And you know, the reason why that app got so far and it became so good and I actually wanted to turn it into something real is because I have so quickly just fallen in love with the new Next.js. I absolutely love the React server component in server action model. There are like two frameworks and two systems I can think of that I've worked with over the course of the last couple of years that I genuinely have loved building with. And that would be Svelkit and that would be the new Next.js. This new system blows the old pages directory systems. Uh, TRPC was awesome for the time. I built a lot of stuff with it. The current production version of InsiderViz is using it. You know, it's a great framework. It's great stuff, but the new app directory stuff just blows it out of the water. And I kind of want to show you guys why, because honestly, I think a lot of people have kind of just written Next.js off, especially those who would be in my community and watching this video. I think it's worth another shot. It's definitely worth taking a look to see if this new model is for you, because honestly, these JS meta frameworks have all gotten so good that you can kind of use whichever one you want. Some of them are slightly better at some things than others, like Svelkit obviously doesn't have a virtual DOM, so for the purposes of like my D3 implementations on Insider Viz, yeah, I don't really want to use Next.js because React is a little painful to deal with there. But for a lot of other apps, when you're just kind of doing a lot of crud logic and building UIs and trying to solve a problem, they all work. They all do the same thing. It's just which one feels good to you. And this new Next.js is feeling really fucking good. So here's why. And the honest why is just because the developer experience is so good. And the reason it's so good is because of React server components. So this is a new React server component. If you haven't seen these before, there's special React components, which instead of just being executed on the client and having the normal React component stuff like use state, use effect, all those things, they're actually rendered on the server and we can do backend calls in these components, which means that what I can do is in this component, we need to get the currently selected workout for the user. What I can do is I can just make this little function right here called get in progress workout. I can hit F12. I can go in here and you can see this is just a database query. I am directly talking to my database from my component. I can tab back over here. I get my current workout. I can populate my UI right here based on the state of the current workout. And then that's it. That's all I have to do to get it working. And this has always been the dream. 
the things that we can do with this are just magical. I have this current workout component and this current workout component can be stuck anywhere. That's part of why the AI stuff makes so much sense and feels so good in the new Next.js because what I can do is I can just take this little current workout and just give it to my LLM. And then the LLM and the application is smart enough to know like, hey, this exercise card is the one that we want when I tell it to that I just did bench for 225 times five times five. It's smart enough to know that that's what needs to go here. And the actual implementation for this is trivial. It is so nice to be able to just go in and save you current workout and then return in my little workout breakdown and then pass in some data, which I fetched from the server. I love having a server attached to my JavaScript applications. It makes it so easy to just build applications. And that's that's really what I'm trying to say here is that I know that there are issues with this. I know that it has scalability problems and this and that and whatever. And, you know, fair enough. I'm not here to debate that. But what I am here to talk about is the fact that it's just a joy to build with and stuff actually gets made with it. This is just a great way to build real applications and not even just for like the data fetching in the React server components, but also for the data mutations. If you haven't seen server actions before, the way these work is like within my create workout card. All I'm doing on my submit function is I'm calling this create workout function. This create workout function lives within my helper.ts file, which has a use server directive at the top, which means that it executes on the server. So I can effectively just put database queries into my front end logic and it just works. It's so easy for me as a one man team to just sit down and have this idea and there's no friction. And yeah, that's really just my point here. It's a joy to build with. And that's what I want you guys to take from this is go try it out. See how it feels. If it's not for you, it's not for you. I think generally speaking for a lot of my applications, Svelkit is still kind of my preferred. I do think I like it better, especially once we get the new Svelte 5 rune syntax. I, um, I'm getting kind of tired of a lot of the reactivity issues in Svelkit. There are some weird things like I'm, uh, I know I'm in the minority on this, but I don't love the dollar sign reactivity stuff. That's not for me. But the once we get the like state runes and the use effect runes, well, not use effect, the effect runes, uh, I think Svelkit is going to be such an amazing framework. I'm so excited for that. But for right now, go give Next.js a shot. It's not it's not what you remember it being, I promise. I know that there are caching issues. I know that it has problems, but it's a it's a pretty damn good framework. And there's a reason why everyone uses it.